Okay, so disclaimer notice. I'm an electronics hobbyist. In fact, I'm a mechanical engineer. I got interested in RC time delay circuits with a particular application in mind. You can link to this via the end card on this video. I wanted to show what I have learned and presented in an informative way, I hope. To begin with, I recommend you look up beginner's guides to electronics and more specifically search principles of operation of capacitor or whatever component you are using. I will try to give links to such sites during the course of this video. They will appear as info cards in the top right hand corner. This would be a good place to start. To begin with, I think most will know what a resistor does in an electrical circuit. It's there in the name, it resists the flow of current. Capacitors, however, are a little bit more mysterious. Here's a good video from YouTube. My application here is DC, so AC circuits not applicable. First thing is that in a DC circuit, a capacitor will pass current to ground as it charges up. This first video here demonstrates this. When we close switch S1, the LED lights up immediately as current flows through the capacitor to ground. As the capacitor charges up, the current flow reduces and the LED dims until dark. Now in this circuit, we have a simple on off switch for the LED. It just turns on and off instantaneously as one might expect. But if we discharge a capacitor to the LED, it dims over time to off. Here we close switch S1 and the LED lights up immediately and the capacitor charges up. When we open switch S1, then the LED dims to off as the capacitor discharges through it. The discharge time constant is approximately resistance by capacitance. In this case, 10 kilo ohms by 100 microfarads equal to one second. In order to increase the time, we either need a bigger capacitor or a higher resistance. However, if the resistance is too high, the current flow through the LED is not sufficient to light it up. This is where the 555 timer comes in. The name of the integrated circuit 555 timer is a bit of a misnomer. It is used in conjunction with resistors and capacitors to generate certain time elements to its operation. It is really worthwhile understanding exactly how it works. You can do a Google search of how it works. Here is a really good link. A simplistic and quick explanation of how it works is as follows. In the initial state, the output from pin three is low. If a low input, less than one third of supply voltage, is given to pin two, it changes the state of the timer. Now the output from pin three is high and equal to the supply voltage. In order to revert the state of the timer to pin three low again, not only must pin two go high, so must pin six. In this case, high is greater than two thirds of supply voltage. So here are a few circuits using the 555 timer. For simplicity, I will use the term high or low for the voltages at pins two and six. The actual low condition is less than one third supply voltage. In this case, 1.666 volts. And high is greater than two thirds supply voltage, 3.333 volts. For pin three, low is zero volts and high is five volts. In this first one, there is a time delay before the LED turns on, after switch S1 is closed. When S1 is closed, pin 2 is high as current flows through the capacitor whilst it is charging up. So when two, pin 2 is high, output from pin 3 is low, so the LED is off. After the time delay, in this case around 5 seconds, the capacitor is fully charged and pin 2 is now connected to ground. So pin 3 goes high and the LED is on. This is similar to the previous one. In the initial state, switch S1 is closed. Pin 2 is high, so LED is off, and the capacitor is fully charged. When switch end S1 is opened, the capacitor discharges and keeps pin 2 high. After the time delay, the capacitor is discharged. Now pin 2 is low and pin 3 high, so the LED is on. In this next one, the initial state of pin 2 is high, through 1K resistor to 5 volt source. Pin 6 is also low as the 5 volt source is connected to ground through discharge pin 7. When a trigger pulse is given to pin 2, by switching S1 on and off, pin 2 is now low and pin 3 high and the LED is on. 
However, because of the change of state of the timer with pin 2 low, this charge pin 7 is no longer connected to ground, so the capacitor charges up, and after the time delay, pin 6 is high, which again changes the state of the 555, so pin 3 low and the LED off. Our next example is blinking LED. Close switch S1, current flows to ground through the capacitor. So pin 2 low, pin 3 high, LED on. There is a time delay while the capacitor charges up through the two resistors, after which pin 2 is high and pin 6 is high. So pin 3 low, LED off. The change of state of the 555 now means pin 7 is connected to ground and the capacitor discharges through 10k resistor only, so the LED is off for a shorter time period. Pin 2 goes low again, the cycle repeats itself. Therefore, the on-off times for the LED can be changed by changing the resistance values. Now, this is the circuit where we introduce a long time delay. I found this on the Stack Exchange Electronics Forum. When switch OS1 is closed, this gives sufficient voltage and current to the base of the transistor to turn it on, so current passes through collector emitter to turn on the LED. The capacitor also charges up. When S1 is opened, the transistor is off, but now the capacitor begins to discharge through the transistor and the 1K resistor. The base emitter junction of the transistor has a very high resistance, so the discharge time is much greater than would be expected of the 1K resistor and 100 microfarad capacitor alone. In this case, instead of a time delay of 0.1 seconds, it takes about 60, around 60 seconds for the LED to dim to complete dark. I've edited the time in this video for this reason. Now I add a 555 timer to the circuit, and this is what I used in my application. The output from pin 3 was used with a relay to have a time delay before a motor turns on. In the initial state S1 is closed, so pin 2 is high through the collector emitter of the transistor. When S1 is open, the capacitor discharges as before and keeps pin 2 high until time delay is elapsed. Pin 2 goes low, pin 3 high, and the LED lights up. The time delay in this case is around 10 seconds with the 1K resistor. With a 5K resistor we get 90 seconds, a 50K resistor gives 15 minutes. So time delays of an hour or more are feasible. That's all folks.